What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm gonna start working on this Armiton Chameleon. Here we go. Alright, I've got all kinds of pieces parts here. We have my transmitter and all kinds of stuff in there. We've got some electronics over here with the VTX and antennas and controls. Got my goggles and props and all that jazz but the bulk of uh, what I'm working on right now is this guy right here so let's check it out all right what we have here on top and I've just got it kind of halfway mocked up here is the cicada BL heli 30 amp 4 in 1 2 to 4S modular ESC. So, um, a lot of people like the individual ESCs and they put them on the arms um, because if one goes out, then you can replace it. Um, but I've got this modular one because I wanted to do a really clean build and not have a whole bunch of stuff on the arms. Uh, I don't know how much of a difference it'll make in actual flight characteristics, but moving. Um, weight to the center versus out on the arms um, could potentially make faster rolls and snappier things like that but uh, I don't know if it'll be noticeable anyways so these are 30 amp ESC's and uh, a lot of people have longer ones and they can um, just mount them out here on the arms and they can be done like that if you want and as you can see here if I can get a uh, shot without glare We've got a uh, positive and negative uh, pads on the ends, and then you would just wire up your three uh, leads over there to the actual motors. Um, but there hasn't been instructions, um, pictures, or other videos of how to actually wire this all together. So we are going to do that right now. Okay, so we've got uh, two parts of the ESC here. And uh, let's see if I can bring this over. I know it's all zoomed in. But what we want to do is basically get them all together into one. So it's like a four in one rather than separate. So we are going to do some soldering on this. And what you want to do is flip the outside or flip the corners so some of them are upside down. So every other one is basically upside down and that will align your pads correctly. And then all we need to do in here is these two negative pads, we're gonna solder a bead all the way across that. And then there's gonna be four pads in the middle once we actually get the other ones um, pushed up against that. And all four of the positive pads are gonna be soldered together in the middle. And then there'll be two more negative pads on the other side. And then once those are all soldered together, then this is basically one chip. And the cool part about that is um, it's a four in one. It's nice and compact and clean in the middle of your drone. But if one of your ESCs goes, goes out, you can just heat up those pads, remove one and replace it so you don't have to replace all four um, or the whole thing. So let's uh, get some soldering going. This is actually one of my, I think this is the first time I've ever soldered on a board itself. So let's see um, how this goes. See if it uh, wants to attach to it. There we go. That is looking good so far. Don't you want to make sure these stay nice and uh, straight together? So I've got them clamped in here, but obviously. They're wiggling just a little bit. Because if they aren't perfectly straight, I gotta tighten these up a little bit. Then um, they're not gonna fit very well once you get them together. So, not gonna fit on your posts. 
so let's see here I know I wiggled that around a little bit we'll try to get that back in frame and see if we can get these together want them to be level and square one thing that I did have to do here too is um, I ah crap it just does not want to stay oh there we go um, okay good deal so those two are together uh, one thing that I did have to do is uh, trim the sides so all of the edges of these boards were actually kind of rough and they wouldn't meet up next to each other very well like side to side um, which made it so when you mounted it on the posts the holes didn't really line up and it was kind of pushing it so I just took a razor blade and really lightly just scraped the sides of these chips the boards so that way um, I could match them up more evenly I maybe should have done these negative pads first since they're on the inside but we'll see here I also probably should have a better iron but this is what I'm working with uh oh that's kinda hard to get in there see if I can work it over I'm gonna make a horrible mess out of this thing. I probably should have tinned all these pads up before um, trying to do them together. Live and learn I guess. And now you can see we've got these all together and we've got uh, all four pads in the middle soldered together those are our positives then we've got our negative connections on the side there negative connections on the side there so now um, we will only need to bring power in with two leads like our positive and negative which we can attach to either end of these and that will power all four rather than having uh, power leads go to each ESC because um, they're all connected now. So uh, hopefully that helps as far as how to um, wire this. So now we can do power in on maybe these two pads and then we'll have motor one, two, three, and four. And then these two pads will not be used because um, we just have no need for it. Okie dokes. So now I've got the um, board mounted up. I'm just starting to figure out how everything's going to be laid out here. This uh, again this is my first build, so I'm just kind of taking it slow and seeing what I need to do. Um, so this is going to be a, a beta flight, um, and that means that this is motor one over here and then two and then three and then four and on the flight controller which is a, a dual flight controller and power distribution board um, what I did is connect the power to the closest leads that go to the the battery so the battery will be connected to these two holes and then I connected the power to the um, flight, or I'm sorry, for this ESCs directly to this board because this does have um, OSD and uh, telemetry. So I wanted to be able to get that battery reading, so I had to run through this PDB to get the power here instead of directly wiring the battery to the to the ESCs. So. Now um, I've got these four wires coming off here. These are the signal wires and these are going to pretty much match up perfectly um, because the board itself is uh, laid out where we've got S1 is right here, S2 is up here, 
S3 is right here and S4 is up here. So I can actually just go direct there and direct there and I'm leaving a little bit of space so that way when I get this on there and mounted I can still take it off to work on it if I need to. Um, and then I will probably trim these down just a little bit so it'll open to about here and then that should still tuck away nicely. So let's get that soldered up.